Hey everyone, so today we're taking a look at PhotoJet, which as you can see is an all-in-one free online tool for photo editing, graphic design, and photo collages. And this site is pretty similar to sites like PicMonkey and Canva with a few um, distinct features of its own. So I'm going to walk you through it and show you how to create things in it. So the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to make a collage, create a design, or edit a photo. Um, so in this example, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail. So what we're going to do for this is edit a photo. Okay, and since there is no option to actually like, just create a blank canvas of a certain size, I'm going to have to go and select a photo and size it down to the YouTube thumbnail size, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. So I'm just going to go into my computer files and find a photo. Okay, so let's say I want this brick wall stock photo to be the background for my YouTube thumbnail. I'll select it from my files and I'll go over to resize and then I'll click the unlock button so everything's not all square and proportional. I'm going to type in 1280 and 720 hit apply and now it is the correct size for a youtube thumbnail the next thing i'm going to do is put some text on this thumbnail so go over to the left panel go to past effects down to text and hit add text here's some preset text these are pretty uh bright and colorful though i'm going to go ahead and show you how to edit text on your own though so i'll hit add text and then i'll type in what i want to type in i'll just type in I'm actually going to do two separate um, boxes of text here. So I have this one over here, and then I'll add text again to add a second line of text. So now I have my very, very boring and uninteresting thumbnail, but let's spice it up a bit. I'll click on the text that I want to select, go over to A, which is our font key. And then there'll be a list of fonts that comes up, ours, which is the ones that PhotoDesk comes with, and yours, which is the ones installed on your computer. Oswald Bold is pretty bold and stands out pretty well for the first part. And then I'll go down here and I can resize my text. Right now it's at 14. I can move it up to 20, which is actually pretty big. So let's go somewhere between 14 and 20. Let's go for 16. And actually you can size it up just by dragging here as well if you don't want to type in the exact number that you want. And I'm going to actually want to change this to white. So I'll click over here, select white. These are just the preset colors. If you know exactly what color you want, you can kind of use this color palette here or type in the hex color code if you know it. And then I'm going to go down to effects, which is the second button. And I can add an either, an either an outline or a glow, and I can also mess with the opacity here, but I'm going to keep it at 100, as you can see. Makes it a little more transparent, but I'm going to keep this at 100. Then I'll go to outline and choose my outline color, which I would like to be... I like this kind of dark blue color. And then I can change the width of that outline to be really bold or really thin and subtle. I'll go, I guess, somewhere in the middle. And then I'll do the same or something similar for the bottom, the second headline. And then I'll go over to clip art, where I can kind of decorate my whole thumbnail a little more. They have different categories. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's a heart that I put in by accident. They have different categories of clip art, which basically work like stickers, I guess you could say. So I'll click on each of these four corners to shrink or expand my image and then I can click at this top button here to rotate a certain number of degrees and if you see this little crown image over to the right of any category name it just means that you have to make an account to use these images it doesn't cost anything now let's go over to effects just to see what you can do there now these effects are obviously going to affect the image that you're editing and not like anything else that you put on the screen so they have these featured effects which basically work like filters for Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that. Make your image look a little different. And you can turn up the intensity to kind of fade out the effect or make it more prominent. Okay, that's a lot brighter actually. I think I'll go with that one. Hit apply. Then you can play with things like highlights just to see what they do. 
highlights and shadows and things of that nature. You can blow it out completely what it looks like. A really, really overexposed image, actually. And something I'd encourage you to do with YouTube thumbnails or any image, really, especially an image with text on it that's going to show up on different size screens, is zoom out, which you can do down here at the bottom, clicking like the minus looking button. Zoom out and see from how far away you can make out what the words say. Like you can go all the way out to 10%, which is probably the smallest anyone will ever see a thumbnail on YouTube. And see if you can still make out the words. And I can see both sets of um, paragraphs there. So that means I did a good job with the text. When you're done with your design, you can go up here to save. And then you'll type in a name for your creation. I'll just type in thumbnail-photojet. Select the quality, and when you select the quality, it'll tell you how big your file is going to be. This is actually pretty small, so they did a good job with the file sizes with this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to high. You can select a file type, which is right for now either JPEG or PNG. I'll do PNG, which actually makes it a little bigger, but that's okay. It's only one megabyte, and then I'll save it to computer. After you save it to your computer, it suggests that you share these images. And then you can hit OK if you don't want to share. I recommend creating an account so you can use the premium features. And let me know what you think of this website. And I can't wait to see what you create. Leave a comment below. Like this video. Subscribe to see my future videos like this. And I'll see you next time.